Welcome back. This is part two of Electrical Industry Networks, the training drawing. On our front page here, you'll see a couple things. This is called the title bar over here. It's got general information in here, uh, specifically saying that it is a cover sheet. You've got dates, scales, who's it's drawn by, a little copyright thing there, the date it was drawn, obviously the name of the drawing. A lot of these uh, prints that you'll be looking at are pretty much laid out this way. I've got five or six sets that I uh, kind of use just as like a template so I make sure that uh, I'm kind of covering everything when I'm drawing them. But uh, I, yeah, I completely drew this whole set of plans here. It's, it's, it is a mock-up. Uh, this building doesn't exist. As a matter of fact, in the map down here, it just shows you uh, a various location where it's at and I just pulled up a, a map of downtown Phoenix. You have your your arrows which most of the time I've almost always seen that these point north and they also point at a 90 degree angle straight up and down. However I have seen a few that have either been tilted let's say uh, you know, maybe 45 degrees this way, 45 degrees that way and some of them even bass backwards and going, you know, right at 90 degrees the opposite direction. It's really confusing, but the idea behind this is to get your bearing straight on which direction you're standing with the drawings. I'll get into that more of that later in the next uh, next few pages here. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer as an overall. I mean, you can barely read some of this stuff right now. But I'll go up here to the code requirements. Let's see if we can pull this up top close. And this goes through and just explains all the governing codes. Uh, 2006 building codes, blah, blah, blah. You can read all this for yourself. But uh, the one that we're most interested in is the electrical code. Now this one needs to be updated because Phoenix is now uh, finally going into the uh, 2011 NEC. So this is kind of outdated. One of the things you'll notice on blueprints and drawings and stuff like that is you got to pay attention because even though I drew these up with a lot of things on my mind hoping that I covered all my bases, I made a mistake. I forgot to change that right there. Now this happens in the real world every damn day. When you're reading the prints, it's very, very important that you pay attention to these things. You can go into some of the other cities, uh, a couple of the other cities in the, the Phoenix area. You know, they were running up to 2005. I think Scottsdale has gone to the 2008 finally. But this particular one I'm basing off of Phoenix. So pay attention to this specifically for the electrical in this area here. Code analysis, not a whole lot to do with us as electricians. I'll cover that in other videos, uh, but for right now, it's, it's just not that important to us. Landlord-tenant information, I don't necessarily think that uh, that's very important as well. You know, we go to work, we know where it's at, we know what we got to do. And then, let's go over here, nobody really matters about the car area but the, this is all stuff that's on these front pages just to give you an idea of what's going on you know if you want to use it for general knowledge uh, that's great it's it doesn't hurt to get to know the job and you know about how big the place is I don't have any of this filled in here consultant information architect mechanical plumbing because it is a fake job Landlord contact, I just talked about that one a little bit. Now on this one here, uh, the overall site plan. This is, uh, you know, pretty important. A lot of times you'll get out on the job and when you get there, after looking at the map and get an idea of where you're at, um, you can kind of get your bearing straight. You've got your north arrow here showing you what's going on. This is NTS, that means not to scale, so it doesn't have uh, specific dimensions. They've got it drawn in here, and 
uh, it just kind of shows you the outline of the whole property there but at least in this one here when you go out on the job um, you know you got an idea of where you're parking and what you're doing what it looks like here when you actually get out there on sites to different things this particular job here had a bunch of parking back over in here and on the other side so that's just something that you can use as a uh, guideline you have your index of drawings here tells you all the different sheets again the only thing I have in here is the electrical and it's just a couple couple pages we have some the city of Phoenix in this case the notes uh, it talks about signs vendings uh, mechanical communication shall be screen height um, that kind of thing it can be useful to know if the air conditioner is going to go up on the roof and it's being screened by a parapet you kind of need to know where you're going to be stubbing up at but uh, just kind of take a look at this it it just doesn't hurt to have an overall knowledge of what's going on on your project fire department notes um, emergency exit lighting comply with the city ordinance of course we know that and the uh, maintain 20 percent or 20 foot access of all structures of public roadway during construction uh, well I guess you better not park too close to the street down here is the symbol for uh, the scales this particular front page is not to scale so it's a mind over matter I don't mind, so it don't matter. We're not going to use that on this one. And I talked a little bit about this in the very beginning of this video. And this one's getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here, and I'll record uh, part three here. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.